All of these lines across my face tell you the story. And breakfast at Tiffany's? Excuse me? Carter Haywood. <laughs> Carol Swain. Carol! Like coffee caramel. Sweet, soft, Christmas Carol. What? Have a moped. <laughs> yourself comfortable. Hi, sit down. Make yourself at home. You too, Amy. Yeah, so I just wanted to have a general meeting about, you know, ideas. You know, um, casual, informal chat. Time to just toss it around. Great show this morning, by the way. Oh, yeah. I love the chemistry yeah, between you. Yeah, it was a good one. Funny riff about fun. the bug repellent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it just works. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, everyone, uh, Marcia brought in a photo. Oh. A little girl with, is that William Powell? I thought it was Lindbergh. It's a photo of my father and me. Oh. So now you can see who I really am. Uh, why don't we pass it around so everyone can see? Oh, no, I'd rather not. <laughs> it's just that now that you've seen the picture in my jeans, see? <laughs> Look, I'm sure that in the future you'll all feel comfortable enough to come to me so that we can work more closely together as a team. All right, can I see that again? I'd really rather spend Do you spend have any this uh, brothers or sisters? No, I was an only oh, child. Oh, man, you were a little <laughs> butterball, weren't you? Were you teased? Because I was so tubby. Well, it wasn't a happy time for me. You know, the old man it? looks a little withdrawn. He well, I guess it was just that generation. Yeah, let's not talk about the picture anymore. It's enough about the picture. Let's talk about ideas. Don't we usually do that in the production meeting? Yeah, but I thought we could do it more casually and, you know, informally. Oh, like with Robbie. Well, d let's get Robbie in here. I just saw him in the elevator. No, no, we don't need Robbie to be casual. Uh, Marcia's wearing jeans. <laughs> no, it's all right, Tim. It's fine. They would rather talk to Robbie. It's fine. It's fine. Although I have to admit that this hurts a little. I think I do a good job running this show, and I think I'm very fair as well. And while my attempt to show you my vulnerable side has obviously ended in failure, it came from a genuine feeling of care about this wow. show. <laughs> Okay. 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 okay, that'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Stories don't mean anything when you've got no one to tell them to. It's true. I was made. I climbed across the mountain tops. Red, red looks kind of cute, right? Red, oh I think my so. Oh god. god. Oh. Bear. You look like an angel. <laughs> that looks pretty good, right? Yeah. As long as I don't need a piece of food for lunch, I'll be fine. Yeah, well, I thought you said that you were a size six. She was a size six, like 12 years ago, right? Hey, yo, that ain't funny. <laughs> surprised if it's a guy, a man. Uh, do you understand? The woman may be a man, so don't be surprised. That's right. Just walk in like you would for any other guest. 
Turn down the bed, bring towels, soap. Chocolates. The guests say they like the mints. Uh, we cut back on the mints. No more chocolates. Get some from the gift shop. Take whatever you think you need and go right up to the room. 7 D. 7 D, 71. 7 D, as in D. And no matter what you see or hear, just act as natural as you can. Then come back here and tell us everything you saw and heard, okay? Okay. But I'm afraid. Oh, don't be afraid. Why not? You will not believe who just checked into the hotel. Stephen Gaines. Stephen Gaines? Fourth richest man in the world? For you. Four dozen nine millimeter Glocks. I guess some guy he knows stole them down in Maryland and he's looking to offload them up here. A guy you've been seeing? Oh, we're just like partying together, but yeah. I oh, see so you and Teresa broke up? Yeah, and I don't like talking about it. Well, what's this guy's name? Pete Murphy. He lives on Madison and Clinton. And you ready to roll on him? I don't love the guy, but you know, <laughs> he's been taking care of me. That's it. In exchange for getting him drugs? Well, I mean, I put him in touch with people as far as that goes. I mean, we got a little companionship thing going. Look, you want the info or not? Yeah, we'll check it out and get back to you. So, uh, what kind of numbers are we looking at? Well, I mean, this is obviously a little bigger than some guy dealing dime bags. I'm sure the reward will reflect that. And if you and me to run off together? <laughs> Open up that, uh, <laughs> restaurant in Santa Fe. First things first. All right. That's cool. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Listen, uh, my numbers are all the same, so, uh, you know, call me. Good. I just want you to know that I'm hurt. I am hurt and I am angry. Because I thought that we had something. I thought that we were going somewhere. And if you're just sleeping around, if you're just making the rounds of girl surgeons, then I think that you ought to know that I We went to a fancy restaurant. What? We went to a fancy restaurant, the nicest restaurant in Seattle. The salad that I ordered, the salad cost $26.95. The wine that you ordered cost $125 a bottle. I, I didn't even look at the entrees because I knew I wasn't going to be able to order one because I was already out 75 bucks and I don't even like salad. Oh. And then the bill came and you... I... I paid. Do you know what I was doing before they brought over the check? I was counting in my head, trying to figure out how I was going to buy food for the rest of the week if my half was 75 bucks because I don't have 75 bucks because my father disowned me and has cleared out my bank account. I am broke Hi. and I am exhausted, Arizona. <laughs> I'm working in the ER because I need the money. Six people died on my watch today and I am fried. I wanted to stay in last night. I thought, I thought that last night would be the night for us. You know, our night. She wanted to go to a fancy restaurant, and I can't do that. Hey, I can't. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, so we stay in, and we'll eat sandwiches. <laughs> you don't even like sandwiches. But I like the girl who has the sandwiches. Okay? Okay. No, you know what? I don't like sandwiches either. I like pizza. I like pizza, too. You see the smile that's on my mouth. It's hiding the world.